Good day, Dr. Eddie here, SmartFlow's new Turbinet Flow spokesman. I'm very excited because my boss has named his latest new product after years truly. You've got to check it out, mate. In injection molding, the importance of turbulent cooling flow is well established. Dr. Eddie is the latest new product offering from SmartFlow, and it makes it easier than ever to check for turbulence. I'll show you how it works in a minute. But first, let's discuss some turbulent flow basics. Turbulence in a cooling circuit depends on the size of the channel and the speed and viscosity of the water. And since fluid viscosity increases with lower temperature, you could instead say that turbulence depends on channel size, water speed, and temperature. This graph shows how the required flow rate for turbulence varies with temperature for three common cooling channel sizes. Wouldn't it be nice to have a meter that would take all these variables into account and simply show whether flow is turbulent or not? Well, the patented technology of Dr. Eddy does exactly that. We coined the phrase fluid characteristic indication to describe our method. Here's how FCI works. An FCI scale has three zones. The laminar flow zone has parallel red lines and any flow in this area should be considered laminar. The gray area is a transitional zone, turbulent depending on water temperature. Turbulence is assured in this area by merely adjusting the flow to the temperature marking that matches your water temperature. And finally, there's a turbulent zone with wavy green lines to indicate that any flow in this area will be turbulent. It really is that simple. To allow for different cooling passage sizes, Dr. Eddy has selectable scales, easily positioned with a thumb wheel. Three scales are FCI, each for a different cooling passage size. The blue scale is simply a flow rate scale. Now you can see that Dr. Eddy truly makes checking for turbulent flow as easy as one, two, three. Just select the scale that most closely matches the diameter of your cooling channel. Note the water temperature. And finally, adjust the flow to match your water temperature. It really is that simple, mate.